I know y'all are probably thinking, now Paula, you are the only person I know that can take fattening food and make it even more fattening. Well, <laughs> I have to tell y'all, this is not my recipe that I'm making. So don't hold me responsible for this one. This is called Gussie's Pecan Glazed Chicken. And y'all know my name ain't Gussie. I'm just gonna share the recipe with y'all and show you how to cook it. All right, I've got my chicken that's been washed and cleaned real good. Now I'm gonna just salt and pepper my chicken. All right, and I've got some garlic powder, and that's garlic powder, not salt. Now I've got two eggs here that I'm gonna just beat up, and I'm gonna just toss that over the chicken, just like that. Just tossing, tossing, tossing. And you could do this part earlier in the day and sticking back in the refrigerator. All right, let me give my hands a, a wash, y'all. Because between the eggs and the chicken, it feels pretty yucky. Okay, I've got some paper sacks here that we're gonna put some self-rising flour in. They've been double bagged. And I'm gonna start with our dark meat first. I'm gonna just throw it over in here. Just a few pieces at the time. Gonna grab that top real good and hold it and just shake, shake my chicken in there. And then I've got another bag here. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other pieces. I know the Pirate's House for years had this particular chicken on their menu. The Pirate's House is located uh, in the historic district right off the river there in Savannah. And it was called the Pirate's House because that's where the pirates hung out. It may very well be the oldest structure in Savannah. I can't, rem can't quite remember my history on that, but people love to visit the Pirate's House when they come to Savannah because it's such a historical place. All right. I'm gonna dig down in here and get our chicken, and I'm gonna drop it in deep fat. I had my oil up to 375 degrees. It's gonna cool down some when I put the cold chicken in there. All right, and now Gussie tells us to put the lid on the pot. Don't close it completely. Crack it so that steam can escape, and our chicken's gonna get really moist and almost stay kind of soft. Well, let's step down here and see how Gussie's fried chicken's going. Smells like fried chicken. It's very close to being ready. All right, y'all, the chicken's ready. I'm gonna pull it out. Ooh, it just feels like just as light as a feather. I'm just gonna let that drain on that paper towel for a minute. All right, so while that's draining, I'm gonna come over here. And y'all, please don't write or call me about this one. <laughs> Cause it's not mine. I've got two sticks of butter like Gussie told me to do. I've got a half a cup of honey that I'm gonna add to that butter. And now I'm gonna add a cup of pecans. And I'm gonna mix that all together and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put our chicken on our platter. You better get back here. That bird was trying to fly away from me. <laughs> That 
looks pretty delicious. All right, I'm gonna turn this off because this one has been cooking for about 10 minutes. And I'm just gonna stir that together real well. And then I'm gonna come over here, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna ladle this over our fried chicken. <laughs> That looks pretty delicious. All right, so I can't hardly wait to sample it. Oh, well, as it turned out, I've gotten a wing, and the wing happens to be one of my eight favorite pieces on a chicken. All right, here we go. It's really good. This is really, really good, Gussie. Mm -hmm.